It's happening. Red Dead 1 Remastered. Redemption, one of Rockstar's most critically acclaimed and highest grossing games, although you'd assume it nearly bankrupt the company based off the way they treat it. As while it is one of Rockstar's greatest games, the company never does anything with it. In a time in the gaming industry where old games are getting remade and remastered more than ever now because every AAA dev is either bankrupt of new ideas or just really lazy, Red Dead Redemption is one of the few Xbox 360 era games to have never gotten remade, remastered, or hell, even fucking ported. Never to 8th gen, never to PC, never even to Switch, which has slowly become the 7th gen graveyard. Meanwhile, Red Dead Revolver got a PS4 port seven years ago. What the fuck? The closest we've gotten to a port was emulation. Hey, we have been informed by Rockstar Games that you are committing the crime of trying to preserve an old game that they don't feel like preserving themselves. Come out with your hands up now. And backwards compatibility for the Xbox One and Series X, which is basically all Microsoft. All Rockstar really had to do was say, yeah, whatever. And then Microsoft handled everything from there. Because of this lack of support for one of their greatest games, rumors have circulated for years about a potential remaster for the game. And these rumors became a lot more realistic with the release of the GTA trilogy, the defective edition. <laughs> Do we really need a remaster? And in late 2022, these rumors began ramping up like crazy, and it was looking very likely that Rockstar was working on something Red Dead related that wasn't adding tumbleweed to the empty Red Dead Online servers. That is not a joke, by the way. But all these rumors and hype was killed in one fell swoop as Rockstar announced that a remaster for Red Dead 1 and Grand Theft Bowling Simulator on. 4 were canceled because of the reception that the Definitive Edition received. Just another reason to hate this crap Sims 4 mod. You took away our chances of getting a Red Dead 1 remake and GTA 4 remake, you dog shit mobile port. And with the announcement of the remaster's cancellation, all the rumors and the hype train quickly died off. Zhong, didn't this game come out in 2010? Oh, it's getting remade! Oh, it's getting a port. Uh... Oh shit, is that Spanish? Nearly a year after Rockstar announced the remaster's cancellation, and basically after everyone had accepted the game's death, Red Dead Redemption 1, completely out of the bloom, was raided in Korea in June of 2023. Which seems a little strange, as a game that came out 13 years ago, would have received its rating 13 years ago. This sparked the rumors all over again, and this time we actually had solid proof, as there have been many cases of old games receiving ratings from different regions, which would lead to a remaster shortly after. Over the course of the summer, more and more leaks would come out hinting at something coming with Red Dead 1. The game's trophies changed on Rockstar's website, a Switch version was added, which led many to assume that the Switch would receive a port, while the other systems would receive a remaster or remake. We were half right in that prediction. And the final leak, which basically all but confirmed that something was coming with this game, Rockstar updating the game's logo to add a Rockstar Presents above it in the same vein as our dr2 all this speculation would be confirmed as finally after 13 years of this incredible game being trapped on one console generation rockstar would finally announce the red dead redemption 1 remake slash remaster <laughs> so the game was finally confirmed and after 13 years of being trapped in the seventh gen's clutches it escaped and was freed to the seventh and a half generation and eighth generation of systems and that's it. It will be coming to Switch and PS4 on August 17th digitally and on October 13th physically because somehow they couldn't even get a physical version of the game to release date for date with the digital version. That's how lazy they are. What, did you not have time to print some physical copies? This game came out 13 years ago, what do you mean? Now with how hyped this game finally getting a new release was, there was a bit of expectation and while I will admit, it was a bit of a community-made expectation and not directly promised by Rockstar. Can you fucking blame us for expecting Rockstar to put at least a fraction of effort for one of their most beloved games that they haven't touched in nearly a decade and a half? Considering that Rockstar had 
directly acknowledged a remaster of this game only a year prior and essentially confirmed that they had been working on one and had made some progress on a remaster at some point in the past does it really seem that overblown for people to assume that one year later that's the version of red dead that we were about to get when all these leaks were coming out a remake was hopeful thinking even though Rockstar already had half the job for a remake done for them, considering that half of Red Dead's map is already in Red Dead 2, and they already had the remake's gameplay mechanics a la Red Dead 2, and the UI was done for them, including a decent amount of character models, all they really had to do was add the missions and Mexico. But even still, with all that work done for them, a remake in Red Dead 2's engine, while it would have been amazing, was still very much hopeful thinking, as that would actually require a decent amount of effort from Rockstar, and considering their track record over the last decade, they do not seem in the business of high effort titles any longer aside from once a decade. A remaster, I think, was very realistic and a perfectly reasonable expectation, especially considering that they already said they were working on one. And I think when these leaks came out that 90% of people were expecting a remaster because of that. A remaster really isn't asking for much from a 13 year old game that's never left the 7th gen. Meanwhile, a PC port was bare fucking minimum considering that pc players outside of emulation have never experienced this game and have been waiting 13 years to officially experience it so whether it was a remake or a remaster or god help me a fucking port a pc version was bare fucking minimum we didn't even get that we didn't even get the bare fucking minimum. You know what we got? We got the game coming to Switch. And we got the game coming to the modern version of PlayStation consoles. The 10 year old modern PlayStation console. That is the antiquated PlayStation console. Look Rockstar, it's the modern PlayStation console that came out three years ago. Not to be confused with the antiquated PlayStation console that came out 10 years ago. Look, I know that you're stuck in 2013 based off your release schedule, but we're three years into the ninth gen, big bubba. So after all those leaks over 2021 to <laughs> mid-2022 to summer of 2023, all we got was a fucking port for the PS4 and Switch. No remaster, no remake, not even a PC version. All we got was a fucking port. Oh, I'm sorry, Rockstar. Did I hurt your feelings by calling it that? Did I hurt your feelings by saying that word? I'll call it a convergence, since that's what you guys want to call it, since you're so embarrassed about this release that you're bending over backwards to not use the word port. So just to make you guys feel better, I'll call it a conversion, like you guys are. I won't call it a port. It's not a port. It's the synonym of a port. It's a conversion. We have a 13-year-old game coming out on 10-year-old hardware in the year of our Lord, 2023. No graphical enhancements like even some ports get. No gameplay enhancements like some ports get. Just the original fucking game plopped onto the PS4 and Switch. With the only new addition being more language options. Mandarin, Korean, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, and Latin American Spanish. That is the only new fucking addition for this port. John well, Marston learned some new languages. Well done, you greasy haired white boy. You downloaded Duolingo. Now, can't try a car and see shoot Rockstar game. Be a GTA 5, GTA Online. David Long Shepard, Red Dead. A remaster. A remake. And the Arsenal Bandy built the Art Shoe. Now, they got fucking pork. Bring a noche to me. Be a beer for part. My high mood team Rockstar game. Hachisha Nana Rockson. So, the scenario we're in is a game that's currently the age of a teenager releasing in 2023 with no changes to modernize it whatsoever which isn't very uncommon in the gaming industry but usually when companies release old games like this they'll do it at a reasonable price for example mafia definitive edition a game that was published by 2k which is owned by take two the same company that owns rockstar released that game which was a full remake, graphical upgrades, gameplay upgrades and all, essentially from the ground up, a new game that took a lot of effort and dev time to make. That game released for $40. A remake for $40, which was published by the same company that owns Rockstar. So with that information, what do you think this port? It is a port of Red Dead Redemption, a 13 year old game will cost in the year 2023 $20 $30 it, it can't be any more than that 
since my Take-Two's own pricing, a full remake was only worth $40 to them. So for this port, there's no way that it's priced at anything more than $30. What? Fifty dollars. Fifty fucking dollars? You're trying to tell me that this port is worth ten dollars more than your own fully fledged remake? You're trying to tell me that this ten year old game is worth more than your own five year old prequel, Red Dead Redemption 2? Are you out of your shark card loving mind? Now Take Two's own Strauss Zelnick had a brilliant response to this pricing controversy for this 13 year old game, saying how they believe the $50 price tag is what this game commercial price is worth considering that it has Undead Nightmare included with the original game. That's just what we believe is the commercially accurate price for it. When asked if Undead Nightmare was the reason for its $50 price. The add-on was a great standalone game in its own right when it was originally released, so we feel like it's a great bundle. For the first time. <laughs> This bundle has existed for 12 years, Strauss! What are you even talking about? Strauss thinks this port's commercial pricing is $50 because it has an 8-hour DLC and is in a bundle that's existed for 12 years. But they also thought that their fully-fledged remake's commercial price was $40. I'm here for money. Money. Where is the money? Gold. Dollars. But you know what? Good for you, Strauss. I'm glad you think that. I'm glad that you think that that's what this game and his expansion are worth after 13 years. But guess what? Nobody else thinks so, including Amazon. As if you do a quick Google search for a little something called Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition, which includes Red Dead 1, Undead Nightmare, as well as the game's multiplayer and all the DLC benefits that came with that. Meanwhile, will you be getting the DLC for this port's multiplayer? When you search for this version of the game, you'll see that its commercial price is worth $30. This version has everything this port has, including the multiplayer and its DLC, so it actually has more content and it's $20 less. So the realistic commercial price for this port is not $50, it's actually $30. And what Take Two and Rockstar are doing is there being every corporation's favorite six letter word. And if you think it's just cause it's a 360 version, so it's cheaper cause it's for a two and a half decade old system, you'd be wrong as if you had a keen eye earlier and noticed what systems this port would be coming to, you would have noticed that a pretty popular console is missing from the list. Xbox. Why would Rockstar not port this game to Microsoft's latest console, the Xbox One? And no, it's not because the Xbox is going the way of the Dreamcast. The real reason Rockstar didn't bother to release this game on the Xbox One is because it's already been released on the Xbox One. Right there. Xbox 360, Xbox One. Xbox One is backwards compatible with 360 games. Same with the far future console that I'm not 100% sure will ever come out, but one can only dream the Series X. And because this is such a half-assed port, playing this ported version of the game would be the exact fucking same as playing the backwards compatible Xbox 360 version. No worse, because when Microsoft makes the game backwards compatible, they give it some modernized enhancements, such as 1440p support, as well as 4K support. Meanwhile, does this port have 4K support? We don't know, cause Rockstar hasn't mentioned it. But what they did mention was that there is new language options. But what we do know is that the trailer was running at 30 FPS. Bad sign. Yeah. Rockstar knows this port is so half-assed that they didn't even bother to try to compete with Xbox's backwards compatibility. And they no doubt saw the pricing for this exact game that they're trying to sell on Amazon, and they still had the big Be meaty clause to charge $50 for a port that has less features and enhancements than their other port. Fuck off, enjoy your dislike ratio. Now community sentiment to this announcement hasn't been great because I guess Rockstar never learned from their other failed ports. And the community is rightfully very pissed off 
not only at the fact that it was a lazy ass port instead of a remake or a remaster not only because there was no pc version but as well as the egregious pricing as the day would go on fans would realize that this port and rockstar as a whole were even fucking lazier than we initially first thought as rockstar couldn't even be bothered to port their own fucking game they had to outsource a port to a company called double 11 studios who worked on fallout 76 and crackdown 3. christ not being too lazy to do a remaster and outsourcing it i can sort of understand even if it doesn't yield the greatest results but outsourcing a fucking port when it's a console port not even a pc port what are you doing and don't even try to say working on GTA 6 because we all know that's a fucking lie. So on top of the already incredibly disappointing announcement of this being a port as well as the incredibly frustrating price point, now we also have to worry about this running like dick. And while I personally think it'll run fine considering that Double Eleven is headed by people who worked on the OG Red Dead, but even with that, I could be wrong and I wouldn't be surprised if this port turned out to be fucking insanely buggy. It actually ended up running just fine. 1080p upscaling, the map and UI was still 720p though because they couldn't be bothered to upscale that because that's how lazy they were, but no bugs. But the fact that we even have to worry about that says a lot about the state of gaming. But that would never happen because Rockstar doesn't do simple ports. No, they actually put effort into their ports and remasters and they make sure that's the best versions of the game. At least that's what Strauss said back in 2021. In fact, his exact words were, We don't just port titles over. We actually take the time to do the very best job we can making the title different for the new release, for the new technology that we're launching it on. So, we improve the technology, we upgrade the visuals, and we make performance enhancements. And that's why I think our remastered titles typically do so well. This quote was from Strauss Zelnick on March 4th of 2021. Eight months later, GTA The Trilogy Definitive Edition would come out. Just over a year after that, GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced would come out. Just two years after that, this Red Dead port would come out. So that aged well. I was so excited to re-experience Red Dead 1. I was so excited to replay this game with new graphics. I understood that we most likely wouldn't get a remake, but I still was just looking forward to re-experience the game with some modernized enhancements, and I would have happily coughed up $50 for that. Hell, I'd even cough up 60 But no! We get the absolute worst case scenario. Our lowest expectations couldn't even be met. You couldn't even release the game on fucking PC. Instead of anything interesting or anything anyone asked for, we are getting the exact same version of the game that we played 13 years ago, as well as having the privilege of paying Rockstar Games nearly full price 13 years later for lines of code from 2010 that were copy and pasted onto a PS4 and Switch version, not even by Rockstar themselves, but by Double Eleven, and you want $50 for that zero effort. What, because it has Undead Nightmare? Make Undead Nightmare 2, how about that? Does wording it that way make you realize how fucking lazy this shit is? You've actually found a way to make Naughty Dog look like they were hustling in the fucking trenches working on their Last of Us 1 remake. You found a way to make the Last of Us Part 1 look good, look worth it. That was a $70 remake of a game that didn't need a remake, but at least you can actually tell they put some effort into it. Improved graphics, improved gameplay. There is none of that here. It's the same thing for $50. Do not. Buy this game on August 17th. Do not buy this game physically in October. I don't give a fuck if you've never played Red Dead 1. Show them that we will not pay $50 for a port of a 13 year old game. And if you really want to play it that bad, fine. Wait a few more months and buy the physical version second hand pre-owned off GameStop or Amazon or eBay or whatever mom and pop shop might be selling it. But do not give Rockstar a cent for this lazy ass overpriced port.
Skepa more after Inter Chicago's Rockstar could have done compared to what they actually did.